Hey crafters, it's me Jen Evers with Quality Crafts and welcome to another 1 in 10 by Jen from Mailbox to Masterpiece. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button if you enjoy it. I do this type of video every Monday and every Wednesday night at 5 p.m. and I am Central Standard Time. Don't forget also that I do a really cool technique tutorial kind of a video for about an hour every Friday night. So end your work week with me Friday night 5 p.m. They're all at 5 p.m. makes it really easy to remember. And I am on number 140 of these in the series. It's a card in just 10 minutes. And darn it if I didn't forget to turn um, <laughs> turn my thing off. So I'm not going to stop this video even though it's pre-recorded. Do you hear that? Always. All the time. It's crazy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on Do Not Disturb so that uh, we don't get... <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of dings and dongs and whatever and this card is coming to us from Elise so one of my subscribers will send in some scraps and things that they just have laying around on their desk I take a 10 minute timer and I turn that into a card so here we go I'm gonna turn I'm gonna go back to my display make sure that it doesn't cut us off because this is gonna take about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna get started with that so here is my 10 minutes And we are going to put that right there. Usually I use, I'm going to grab them anyway. I usually grab Snuggles. Mr. Snuggles. He's my little koala guy. So he usually holds on to that for me. So you guys don't get a glare on it. I have an A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half already cut out. And the first thing we're going to do is look, see what Elise has sent us. So here we go. I used to have my camera and everything all set up in the basement, so it was pretty quiet, but I get lots of air and light in here. Just unfortunate we live on a busy street. So, wow! Look at all these fun colors, you guys. And this little guy, what, he's like a little foamy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! So fun. This is a really cute little title thing. There's a couple bunch of cuts out. Aww, and a little smile. And some more paper. I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty simple card for me. But let's get at it and let's see what I come up with here. I'm just going to press the button and off we all. So if you've been watching me for a long time, like if you've been watching a hundred or more of these videos, <laughs> you know that I usually start out with something, something as a base. Something that I can build off of. Like what do I want this background to be? I think this is really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one down. And I'll pull this one out. So I don't think I'll go the whole five and a half. Maybe I'll leave a little tiny bit of a border. And then four and a quarter. Maybe a little bit less than that. If you're wondering what I do with all the stuff I have left over, every year at the end of the year, we do a crop in the new year for like four hours and I take all these scraps and I just create, create, create along with you. And this year we're thinking we're going to put that on Zoom so everyone can see everyone else. It won't just be me on a YouTube video yakking, but everybody will be able to participate. So I'm hoping that we can get, I'm hoping that we can get a large group this year. I know I'm going to run out of this ATG tape, so I might switch over to glue halfway through. We'll see how long it lasts. So in my brain, what I'm thinking with the stuff that I have here, I would like him to be my focal point. I'm going to use the smile, so I'll probably put the smile on here. But because they're the same like basic color, I'm going to take another strip, I think of this, and put that in the middle. I think I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna eyeball it that's it I'm gonna put that one in there put the smile in here what is this one? Ooh, that one might be kind of cool too we could do that okay I'm gonna put the smile on right away so I've got that coming cute and then maybe on top of one of these yeah let's do that one Try to cut off a little bit of those colors. And then I'm going to put this right on top. 
So I don't have to guess how big it needs to be. I can already see that. There we go. And then I can eyeball the end of that too. It doesn't have to be perfect when they're handmade cards, obviously, right? Oh, and look at that. All those assembled together makes this look like a much cooler little sentiment piece. I'm going to try to center this the best I can. So if you guys find at the end of projects that you have scraps left, set that timer and just see what you could come up with in 10 minutes. They don't have to be perfect or fancy or gorgeous or, you know, stuff like that. But I thought, gosh, wouldn't it be cool if I get him in here? This is going to go on here somewhere. Do I maybe want to make him jumping over it? Oh, that would be cute. Like, just like that. But it is in the background because I have these other ones here. I'm going to make some, like, leafy things. But I'm going to use just my tearing technique to do it. And make them look almost like big leaves or big fronds of the forest or wherever he lives and put that in behind so that they're sticking up if there's a little bit of white that's cool because that's gonna make it stand out a little bit more so let's go ahead and try and get like a blue one in here double check which way you're tearing your paper too because sometimes you can tear a piece of paper one way and you'll get that really cool white edge other times you do the paper a different way, you don't get the white edge. So if you want that white edge, you have to tear it a certain way. I hope that makes sense. I love these bold colors. These are going to make it so much cooler. Some of them might get a little bit... This one doesn't have white core, so we're going to add in a couple of these just plain green ones to balance it out. This is going to look super cool. So we'll do that one. We've even got a little slip of yellow if we need to, we can do that one. And maybe since we used this on the outside, I'll go ahead and put what's left on the inside of the card. So we have a little bit of stuff that's going from the outside to the inside to make both parts of the card look cohesive. You know what, this one's kind of short, so I'm gonna put it down this side instead. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. That looks pretty good. We got a little bit of white there, and so I'll probably put a couple of fronds in there too. But first of all, I have to make this work here. I hope my pin comes out and doesn't leave my pin in there. Oh, there we go. Phew. All right, I don't know how I want these to go. So I guess I'm just going to pick and just start putting them down. And hopefully they'll come out in a kind of a cohesive way. You can do this any way you want. It doesn't have to be... A certain way if you want to put it down and see how it looks first go ahead and do that I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that one there this one here so some are gonna stick all the way up to the top and that's cool also gonna do I don't want too much green so I'm gonna go ahead and bust this out on this pink side get a little bit more of that in there Cool. And I'll probably add that last green one in somewhere. Maybe over the top. That'd be kind of cute. Like right here. That's cool. Alright, so that's going to leave me with plenty of area to do these guys here. And then I might use some of these little scraps so that I can put, um, let me do this one. Can you hear my cat? He thinks he's always hungry. He sometimes makes me a little bit crazy. Okay, I'll put those guys back, but I want to put 
like one frond in here, incorporate a little bit of that color with the green that we started out with. So we've got a little bit of something on the inside. And then we're gonna put these guys down on the outside here. I could probably even go, do I wanna, maybe just so I don't cover up all that color, maybe I'll have him jumping in on this side since there's like a little hole there. I'm gonna pop this guy up though. Just need my pop stuff. Oh goodness, sir, you'll be okay. I'm almost done. All right, a little bit here. And I just wanna make sure that I have him in the right place. We're gonna put that smile guy right there. And he's already popped because he's squishy. So I think I'm just gonna try to glue him straight down. I am hoping that this liquid glue will hold that guy there. So let's try it out. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna hold this here for a little bit because otherwise I'm afraid it's gonna just pop off if I don't. Look at that, I even have like a full minute left. I don't know that I'm gonna be making any more to go on here but I am gonna save some of this paper for sure there is he gonna stay on there now let's give him a good shake oh yeah he's gonna stay this guy is getting kind of ripped at the top so I'm just gonna take him a little piece off of there and then oh my gosh that's so cute isn't it I wonder if I should put some I don't want to put any glitter glue on because then I'm gonna have to wait to mail it I hate waiting. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I want a little bit of... Maybe I want a little bit of this going up the top. Cover up that little hole a little bit. So it looks like we got another piece going up there. Even though we don't, that's cute. That fills in that little hole there that doesn't feel so naked in there then. Really cute. And we finished. Super cute card. So big thanks to, I think it was Elise, right? Yes. Elise, thank you so much. This turned out really cute. We got a little bit of that going right to the inside. So I will stamp my information on the back of this card. I'm going to send that out to Elise. So she's got a handmade card personalized from me. That was super fun. Thank you, Elise, for sending your stuff in. Join Quality Crafts on Facebook if you want to be a part of this. I would love it. As I said in the beginning, we are at 140 of these. And we are going to continue with them two times a week, Mondays and Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time until we get no more um, envelopes and scraps coming in and we have to close it down. So if you really enjoy this series, I do encourage you to join our drama and commitment. You don't have to worry about anything in that group. Just come on in for some fun connection, friends, um, inspiration, things to do, and uh, we will welcome you. We're a very friendly group. So I hope to see some of you guys there and I can't wait to see you guys next video.